anyone who's known me for a long time or really for just five minutes will know that purple is and always will be my favorite color. However, <laughs> collection would probably tell you otherwise. I've got problems. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and I am finally, finally doing my novelty bag collection video. Girl, it's a lot, I am telling you. I have been collecting bags for quite some time, um, but over over the past few months, I would say, um, I'm looking at my collection, I'm a little bit like, there is really not enough purple in these. <laughs> but it's not my fault that most cute bags are in pink. Like, this is not my fault. <laughs> So I'm a lover of bags that are different. So whether they are in the shape of a character, the shape of a thing, have a different functionality, I don't really do normal, okay? Um, well, you kind of already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not the most normal of people. I'm not the plain Jane. That is not me. So what I'm gonna show you today isn't my full bag collection, but it's my most novelty bags that I have. So. You are gonna need to grab a cup of tea because we have got all this to get through. If you're wondering how I've got that kind of like Hollywood glamour feel to my bag wall, I was actually very kindly given those lights by the company ASEAN. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below to um, the actual lights. And I have to say, like they really, really did the job because without them, that hallway is actually really, really quite dark because the light is all the way down next to our front door and there is no other light that's, you know, in the hallway. So like, it's often quite hard to even see where you're going when we go down there. But now that I've got them all strung up, and that I just have the switch just there on the side. It completely lights up the hallway and there's only 10 bulbs, but they're really, really quite good. There are three different types of light as well. So you've got a cool light, you've got a warm light and you have a natural light. I tend to have it more on the natural light because that seems to be the brightest for me. Um, and they're also dimmable too. So I highly recommend them. Um, I will, as I said, I will leave a link in the description box below. So I wanna say a big thank you to Sam who actually contacted me from that company and um, offered to send me these lights. It's a very random thing to send me, but it worked perfectly and it actually gave me the real get up and go to make this video which I've been planning to do for so so long so thank you so so much I absolutely love them okay so let's just get through all the pink ones first shall we <laughs> let's just get those out of the way um the first one is this one this one is I actually got it from eBay but it's from skinny dip London um and this is the liquid sarcasm soda can bag which I think is just so so cool I love the ring pull detail at the top I love how sparkly that it is. And it's just like, oh, just shut up. <laughs> Some of my bags have got bag charms on as well. Um, this one was made for me by the lovely Aurora Art. Some of you might remember when I received a beautiful package from her and I opened it up here on my channel. And this is a um, soda bottle shaker. And I figured that it was like the perfect charm to go on the side of this bag. So yes, this is... Um, it's, it's actually quite a new addition to the family, but I absolutely love it. And it's quite a big size as well, because I've got quite a large phone. So yeah, some of these bags don't even fit my phone in, <laughs> but I still got them because they're cute. Because you know, who cares about function? Next is this absolute beauty. And I know that you guys have seen this one here before, okay? This is the Polly Pocket bag. Oh my goodness. 
Now, when I was a child, I didn't have lots of Polly Pockets and stuff like that, but I do remember I had a Polly Pocket Play-Doh set and it was a big, massive clamshell and it had pearly Play-Doh and I absolutely loved it. Um, so that's my sort of like memory of Polly Pocket. Um, but I always thought that they were super, super cute. But what really swayed this for me was the inside. You've probably already seen this. This bag is so old, but look at the inside. Look at how it's actually like got her in there. Like, isn't it so, so cute? I just thought that was such a lovely detail. And even though it's only really me who's gonna be seeing it, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> now this little cutie I got from eBay. This is my strawberry milk carton bag. And funnily enough, I hate strawberry milkshake. Like you will never catch me <laughs> drinking strawberry milkshake. I'm not a really a fruity milk kind of person. Um, but for aesthetics, isn't it perfect? <laughs> like I absolutely adore this. Um, again, it's quite a big and very spacious bag, perfect for my phone. And um, I really like this sort of um, rope detail that they have here as well. Even the little straw as well, I think is super, super cute. But yeah, and it's got milk bear on it. Anything that's got milk, bear and fruit looks cute. <laughs> Okay, next is a bag that I've wanted for ages and I only recently managed to get it. Got it on eBay. It was sat in my eBay list for so long. <laughs> and when it arrived, I couldn't actually believe how large that it was. It's the Barbie bag. It's massive. Like, look at the size of it. It's huge. It's like, like the size of like my whole like biceps. Like it's massive. <laughs> I love, love, love this. Absolutely love it. Again, you know, when it comes to Barbie, I didn't really have many Barbies as such. I was a Christie girl, okay? Because, you know, my auntie would only buy me black dolls. So <laughs> I didn't get Barbie, I got Christie, okay? But um, Barbie for me is still full of nostalgia. I, I always wanted all of the stuff. I'd always be like asterixing stuff in the old Argos catalog. Do you remember doing that? <laughs> Okay, this next bag, I don't know if you're actually quite ready for this. Um, Mike got me this for my birthday and my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> my jaw hit the floor. Look at this. Look at this bag. Can you see? It's actually a moving, working clock. Like this is the actual time. The time now is currently 25. Actually, no, this this is actually wrong. I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't changed the clocks because the clocks went forward an hour like a few weeks ago. So <laughs> this should actually say 25 to one because that's the actual time. But you get my drift. I have a clock bag. This is insane. Actually insane. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now this one, it is quite spacious. You can fit quite a few things in there. You just have to be clever about the way that you maneuver it all. But I absolutely adore this bag. I know it looks like it should alarm, but it doesn't. <laughs> now this is another bag that I got from eBay. And again, it's one that will just sat in my wish list for ages and ages. You will come to realize that about me, that I am a wish list kind of person. I just put them in the wish list and just wish for them. And eventually they come true. <laughs> I didn't even mean to like do a pun, obviously wishing on a star. I didn't mean to even do that, but you know, it just happened. But still, isn't this bag amazing? Look, it's a shooting star and it's all iridescent and gorgeous. Oh. I've just realized I've just gotten the perfect pair of trainers that match this. Hold on. I just got these on that website, Just Fab, in the sale. Check those bad boys out. These were only a tenner in the sale. Oh. This is another cutie that my husband got for me. Um, basically, he, he kind of got me like the majority of these bags. <laughs> but look at this. Ah, my little melodies. It's so, so cute. I love this little music note detail here. I think this is absolutely adorable. I love using this bag when I'm all like dressed up in like my full kind of like kawaii outfit because I have a coat, which is basically like a pink, Santa coat is the only way that I can describe it. It's very flamboyant. And this just goes really, really well with it. It's such a dainty little thing. Even though it's small, it does fit my phone in. Um, but I just think it's just the cutest thing. And I think pink and gold go together really, really well. So yeah, I love, love, love this little bag. Now, I hope that you guys have been paying attention, you know, because you're gonna have to tell me in the comments what your favorite bag slash bags are from this collection. So 
We've done a very, very small section, so <sighs> hope you're ready for the next lot. <laughs> now, personally, I don't know if you're actually quite ready for this, but I have a bag that is actually a phone, a working phone. Now, this here is a Christmas present from my friend Zoe, and it is just the most amazing thing. I currently have my ringtone on my phone set to just like the old original phone ring um, so that <laughs> should I be using this outside I can now just click the little button and be talking on my phone through my bag because it just it just like hooks in <laughs> and there's a little a little adapter inside that just hooks into your phone so you just go boop hello <laughs> Why do I have a bag that's a phone? Like, why? I think that there might actually be a Betsy Johnson bag that is like this. I think so. I think I might have seen one. That was long after I got this. Um, so this is probably, you know, heavily inspired by Betsy Johnson. I am not a brand name person. Um, I'm not somebody who will buy something because of the brand. So that really doesn't bother me. Um, this is actually from AliExpress. <laughs> This little pretty I got from Misguided. I love the holographic mane on the unicorn. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is for when I'm having my very soft days, you know, when I'm wearing quite muted pastels, but I still wanna have a little bit of sparkle. That is absolutely perfect for that. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love, I love anything that's shiny. <laughs> This one I got from a shop called Aldo um, here in Brighton and I've had this for ages. This, this is an old bag. This one here is an old faithful. There's even some little like marks on there that I can't even get off which are really, really annoying me. But apart from that, I love this bag. Um, this is a very nice sort of um, evening bag. This is one I'll take out if I was like going out on date night or whatever. Um, but yeah, and it's got a little space here as well if I'm gonna put any cards there in the back. Perfect size for my phone. And yeah, it's just a cool novelty bag. I mean, lip shape bags are fairly common, but um, I thought that this was quite a nice shape because some of them can look a little bit obscure. So uh, yeah, I'm happy that I went for this one. This one here is another skinny dip baby. It's the beautiful peach. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? It's super duper sparkly. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love, love, love this one. Um, this one, yes, I can fit my phone in it, but again, I have to be a little bit clever about how I do it. It's very much a phone, purse, keys, and that's it kind of bag. Um, and even with like keys, I have to make sure I take off like all my unnecessary key fobs in order to get everything inside. Not to make everything about Animal Crossing, but at the moment, you know that I'm completely and utterly obsessed. This would actually be a really good bag if I was doing an Animal Crossing lookbook. Hmm. The cogs are turning. The cogs are turning. <laughs> and another skinny dip one. Here we have Mrs. Flamingo. Yes, another Animal Crossing reference. What is wrong with me? I'm obsessed. <laughs> but this one I love because it's in the shape of a heart. Like her whole body is like a heart. Isn't it so, so cute? This one, plenty of space for like my phone and stuff. Um, it comes with a normal sort of gold chain on it. This is absolutely so, so different. This is one that my husband found, um, found it on eBay. And uh, yeah, it's just so unusual. Do you know what I mean? Like where else would you see a flamingo bag? <laughs> this is a bag that I've wanted for ages and I was so, so happy when I finally got it. It's my cookie bag. How cool is this? They have it in brown as well. I am tempted to get the brown one, even though I don't wear many brown things, but just because cookies are brown, you know, like it kind of makes sense to have the brown one too, but it's not a necessity right now. <laughs> okay, now this little cutie I got from AliExpress and I adore it. And I have to forgive the fact that she does not fit my phone <laughs> at all. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's Jigglypuff, oh my gosh. So, so adorable. When it comes to Pokemon, I don't know anything past generation one. <laughs> Sorry about it, but I just don't. But I, I will always have a special place in my heart for, you know, these characters. So Jigglypuff stole my heart. When I saw it on there, I was like, okay, I have to have this. <laughs> Another one that I'm absolutely gutted doesn't fit my phone but I just have to forgive it and wear something with pockets so that I could just stick my phone in that instead. 
is this. Look at this unicorn magic perfume bottle box bag. I mean, can we just, can we just appreciate? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is from uh, Skinny Dip. Again, it's basically Skinny Dip just do amazing bags, okay? Um, so yeah, I have to forgive the fact that it's too small for my phone, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Now this one, my husband Mike, he's a bit like, well, this one isn't really a bag because it's more of a case. So this one shouldn't even really be on the wall. At the moment, it's hanging on. <laughs> It's hanging on. Should I get something else to replace it? It might go, but I actually bought this to do a project with it. I just haven't gotten around to it. This is the Red Heart case from Sass and Bell. Um, and do you know what? Really, technically, like I could include all the other cases that I have here because I have lots of cases from Sass and Bell, lots. Um, but I won't because it's, it's about the shape. Do you know what I mean? And um, I just adore, adore this shape. Now this next bag is cool, okay? This one is cool. I know that you guys always see my super, super cute kawaii side, but I do like old school retro things. Um, and some of them are bolder colors, like red, even though I don't wear a lot of red, but I do wear black sometimes. So this goes quite well with the black. It's this Angry Birds bag. How cool is this? When Angry Birds first came out, I was all over that game, okay? I absolutely loved that game. This one is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It definitely holds my phone. It holds everything that I need. Um, it's double-sided and it's just iconic like everyone knows this face i actually have an angry bird speaker which is pretty much the same size as this it's, it's the same bird um and i just got it just because nostalgia you know i just love nostalgic things so yeah this one is definitely staying on the bag wall speaking of nostalgia come on i mean i mean i mean come on <laughs> Now this is technically a storage case, allow me. This is the Amiibo Super Mario question mark box bag and it opens out all the way like that. And so you would like store your games and your consoles in there and stuff like that. I have it padded so that it keeps its shape when it's, um, when it's up on the wall. But the inside, the pattern is so, so cute inside with um, just like all the different items and stuff. This is iconic. Like you just wanna, wanna punch it. In fact, my son Riley, he does that. He runs up and down the hallway and he, <laughs> he punches it because you kind of just have to. <laughs> now, if you know me personally, then you will know that I am a big fan of Monsters Inc. So, <laughs> now Sully is my absolute favorite. I love, love, love Sully. I have a Sully onesie and I have a Sully plush, which is basically the same size as this. And I was contemplating turning my Sully plush into a bag. However, could I bring myself to completely gut him and destroy him like that? No. <laughs> So I found this one on eBay and I also and Mike Mike found this one because he was a bit like well you can't have Sully and not Mike um, but he found this one on eBay and it came with this cute little like um, coin purse on the end and I love that it's got the door on the back and even the inside of this one the print is the doors from the opening scene and that's one of my favorite scenes as well so yeah you can see that I get excited talking about Monsters Inc. <laughs> You'd never guess that I'm 32, would you? You wouldn't guess it. I was so, so happy when I got this bag because I've been looking for a cloud-shaped bag because I've been wanting to put together a cloud-themed lookbook because I like clouds. And I found this one on eBay. It's a, it's a Kath Kidson bag. Again, I don't care that it's a Kath Kidson bag. I'm not someone who bought it because it's Kath Kidson. I just really, really like the bag. Um, I love that it's got rainbow straps as well. I thought that was a really, really nice touch. Um, and the inside of it has these cute little hot air balloons as well. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Does it fit my phone though? No. Okay, now this bag is definitely one of my favorites because it goes with the majority of things in my wardrobe. 
It's my pastel rainbow bag. Look at this. Oh, it's from Skinny Dip again. A lot of my bags are from Skinny Dip, but of course I got it on eBay. And I paired it up with my plushy vending machine bag charm that I made. Um, I, I absolutely love this bag. I love, love, love it. It fits everything in that I need it to. It looks super, super cool. And everybody who is into kawaii fashion has either got this or at least seen it. <laughs> And I was seeing it one too many times and I'm like, why do I not have this bag? This next one was literally like two pounds on eBay. I couldn't believe it because it's like practically brand new. But look at this fluffy unicorn bag. Oh my gosh, look at the fluff. I love it, I love it, I love it. Of course, had to put my Pashinicorn on there as the bag charm. Plenty of space in this. You know, you could argue that this is a child's rucksack. I don't care, okay? I just don't care. This bag is super cool. This is my uh, holographic star bag. And when I saw it on eBay, um, I thought that like the whole bag was gonna be this shape. I didn't realize it was gonna have like a circular middle. And that is the reason why my phone can't fit. Anything that's got this kind of like sort of small circular bit here, it just it just makes it just makes the bag a lot smaller and therefore my phone suffers so again this is something that i'll have to rock when i've got pockets so i can put my phone in bag charm wise i put on my little twin stars bezel that i made which is super super cute this is an old one oh my gosh i don't even remember when i made this this was sometime last year this is very very old speaking of holographic check this out check out my little cat queen here i'm absolutely loving this i actually got this one in the sale from WH Smith, <laughs> which is a massive stationery kind of store here in the UK. Um, I don't know if WH Smith's is um, is in America as well. I've got no idea, but I think I think it's probably just in the UK. But um, yeah, so they sell like a lot of stationery and stuff. And this was <laughs> in the giddy section <laughs> for lunch boxes, <laughs> but it's not my fault that kids lunch bags and lunch boxes are just so damn cute and really, really spacious. So, you know, when it's going for like only a few quid, I'm gonna pick it up. I really like the mermaid scale detail on this bag actually. Um, so yeah, she's just this cute little cat queen permaid. But yeah, fabulous. This is one of the purple-ish <laughs> bags that I have. It's so embarrassing that I don't have enough purple bags. It's really embarrassing. We have another skinny dipper. Even I didn't realize how many skinny dip bags that I have, but look what we have. Check out my satin bag, which actually goes really well, just realized, with my alien dress that I'm wearing today. Um, it doesn't fit my phone. <laughs> As you probably guess, look how small it is. Oh my God. It looked bigger on eBay. It did. I don't remember if they put the measurements of the bag on the listing but I don't often read the listing. <laughs> okay, this bag is old. This is going back some years. I got this one in um, Tiger, which is now called Flying Tiger, um, here in Brighton. And they had a strawberry one. And usually I would go for that because it's pink, but I love chocolate more. <laughs> So I went for the chocolate one. But how gorgeous is that though? This one's massive. If it's everything in it, plenty of space inside of it. Um, definitely big enough for my phone, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, I just love that the straw is actually a straw. Um, yeah, it's just got really, really cool details and it's super duper sparkly. I love this. Now this next one, I actually recently bought some new paints for this because I've been meaning to decorate this bag from since winter. <laughs> <laughs> when I received it from Unzi. Um, I love this bag. This is the really cool boombox bag. It's absolutely adorable. Just about fits my phone, just. And again, I, like I have to be clever with how I actually put this in. Oh, I've got some receipts in there. What's that? Any money? No? No. I just love the detail in it. I love all the little like holes here for the speakers. Um, the detail of like the little uh, tape deck there. Um, um, the radio waves, all of that. It's just super, super cool. As I said, I do like old school retro looking things. I used to have, I'm gutted because it got thrown away ages ago because it stopped working, but I used to have a big boombox bag. It was purple and it actually played your music. You, you could just like plug your phone in and play your music through it. That was really, really cool. That would have definitely made it into this video, but alas, 
it is no longer with us. We've got another amiibo bag here. How adorable is this bad boy? Check out the mushroom. Oh my gosh. It is very spacious. I love that it's got like the print of it on the inside as well. It's a really, really nice detail. Very well made. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this. Again, I'm all about nostalgia. So even though, yeah, I might not be the biggest Super Mario head ever, but I still played this game back in the day and it, it has some resonance with me. I'm definitely somebody who uses emojis a lot whenever I talk. <laughs> this is one that I use an awful lot and I've even got the little bag charm to go with it as well. I got this one in WH Smith. Can you guess? Yes, in the children's lunch bag section and I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care that this is supposed to be for a child. Um, again, a massive amount of space as to be expected. Um, I like that this is a, um, a wipe clean one, so it's very easy for me to keep clean. And it's got LOL there at the back of it as well. Um, it's just really cool. This is a really nice one to wear when it's like super sunny outside and I go in that, you know, my sort of like more brighter yellows and stuff. Um, yeah, this is a cool bag. Another from the lunch bag section. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> How cool is this? It's a little veggie burger. Ah! It's so, so cute. Does this one have a pattern inside? No, 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 it's still, it's still uh, gray. But look, at it. it even says name and class. I wasn't joking when I said it was from the kids section. <laughs> name and class, name, Aisha, class first. Now this is actually the one that started off my love for circular lunch bags. It's this, how cute is this? I got this, I think this was around my birthday last year actually, um, because I do remember taking this one out for my birthday. Um, so I think, it, yeah, it couldn't it couldn't have been much more before that, that I saw it in W.A. Smith and I was like, okay, I need it in my life. It's just the cutest thing ever. How adorable is she? Should we get to Pusheen now? Okay, let's get to Pusheen. <laughs> All right, now this one, this one isn't actually um, on my bag wall because I use it in my room and I use it to keep any um, Shasha mail that I get because you send me some lovely things sometimes, some lovely little letters or some lovely cards. And that is what I use my um, Pusheen tin for. As you can see, I've got cards in there from you guys. This is um, from like um, my birthday and stuff like that, you know, so birthday cards and stuff that I've received from you, they've all gone into here. Got to keep them nice and safe. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this tin. They have it in um, in mint as well. And they also um, do it when you buy the uh, crochet kit. They also come in one of these tins too, but I just got just like the normal lunchbox one because I have a habit of just buying lunchboxes and using them as actual bags. Um, but yeah, I used to rock this one out, but now I use it in my room. So that's why it wasn't up on the wall. Now this one is from Artbox and this one is epic. It's absolutely epic. It's like the most grown up machine bag that I have. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like how sophisticated do you feel when you're rocking out with this? <laughs> This one was a uh, was a Christmas treat from my husband who um, feeds my machine addiction. <laughs> Even though he really, really shouldn't, but he does because he knows that it makes me happy. Um, but yeah, this, th this was an amazing surprise. I did not expect this at all. Um, it is so well made. I love, love this bag. It does come with another strap as well. If you wanted to have it on your shoulder, then it comes with a nice pink and white shoulder strap too. So I've worn it both ways. I absolutely adore this bag. Oh, look at that. What's in here? Another machine bag. <laughs> This is also from the Art Boss. I got it when I went to the Art Boss Cafe. Um, oh my goodness. I love, love, love this bag because it's in the actual shape of Pusheen. Like, as I said, I like things like in the shape of characters. So yeah, I love it. Have we got any money in here? Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a coin purse in here. I didn't even realize that was in there. Oh my goodness. Do we have a Pusheen coin purse that some, suddenly like made it into this video? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even know that that was there. What else is in here? Oh, wait, would you look at that? <laughs> My other machine purse. <laughs> but this one 
can also be a bag. So that's pretty cool. This one holds, oh, look, I've got my coasters in here. Oh, wow. These need to go with the rest of them. Okay, I've got like, I've got a couple of duplicates there and I have this one here as well. These need to go with the rest because I have them all like stacked up somewhere in um, in one of my drawers. Um, so they, they all need to go there. What else is in here? Any money? Because your girl's broke. One day I wasn't feeling too well and um, to cheer me up, Mike got me this. This one is also um, from Artbox, but I think he got this one on eBay actually, but you can get it from Artbox too. How cute is this? It's machine card. Oh my gosh. And you know what? It's so much nicer in real life because it's so squishy. It's like proper plushy. I absolutely adore it. And it's so, so soft. It's just, it's just so lovely. It's so, so lovely. I will cherish it. <laughs> okay, speaking of plushies, one of my absolute favorite plush bags that I have has got to be my cinema roll. Oh. <laughs> How cute is this? Oh my God. This one I got on eBay is massive, isn't it? Look at him. Oh my gosh. I just love, love, love him. It's so, so soft like really 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 soft really squidgy like the perfect cuddle monster i love i love i love i love this one so so much last year for my birthday my husband and i went to art box and i was umming and erring for ages about whether or not i get the Corilla kuma bag why this was such a hard decision for me i don't know but <laughs> well no, i do know i am the most indecisive person <laughs> Even if it's something that I've been planning to get for ages, I just take so long to just press buy it now or just hand over the cash or whatever. I take ages because I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, should I do it? Oh, da, 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 da. I should have just done it. I then I would have had it a lot quicker. <laughs> but I did it eventually and look at her, she's massive. Like, she's huge, absolutely huge. And bag charm wise, I have got, this is one that I made ages ago. How adorable is this? You've got Rilakkuma, Kurilakkuma there in their cute little cat suits. I absolutely adore it, especially because like the colors perfectly match. Um, so yeah, super, super happy with that. I love it so, so much. But what came before that was this one. <laughs> This is my massive, massive Rilakkuma bag. And annoyingly, it's got a little beauty spot here. It's a little mark that I just can't seem to get out. So I'm just gonna call it a little mole. <laughs> but how cute is he? It's so, so big, super, super big. Oh my goodness. So it just about fits my phone. <laughs> This is definitely one of my favorite uh, kawaii bags that I have. Like, it's just so extra. It's so in your face. It's it's so, hello, I'm here. <laughs> have you seen me? Another taste of nostalgia. Now, I, for the longest time, have been a fan of Sesame Street, The Muppets. Um, it's what I grew up on, uh, especially Sesame Street. That was like an everyday thing for me, like every day. <laughs> And um, yeah, so anything that's Sesame Street related, I want it basically. Um, and so look who I found. <laughs> I've got this Elmo plush bag. This is just the cutest thing. And you know what? A decent amount of space for a plush bag. Decent amount of space, just about fits my phone. And uh, yeah, super duper adorable when he's just chilling there on my shoulder. <laughs> That wasn't the best impression. I'm normally better at that, but it is currently half past one in the morning. We are almost at the end. If you are still with me, you are amazing. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, so I absolutely love this bag. This bag is massive. Check this out. It's so big. How cool is this oh my god i love anything that is iridescent okay you get people who love the holographic and you know i'm partial to a bit of hollow i am but iridescence i'm sorry you just can't beat it you just can't beat it oh my god 
it's huge like I don't even know if the camera is even really doing it just like can you like hello like it, it is massive <laughs> I just love it. And I love like plasticky things. I love that. Mike's not really a big fan of it. I love this kind of thing. Are you ready for another epic, massive bag? I don't know if you're ready for this. Here we go. Cause this is ridiculously huge. <laughs> How cool is that? This is huge. Mongoose. It's a backpack, right? Found it on eBay. It's so so cool. And the front pocket here. So we've got we've got two pockets even. Look at this. There you go. So you've got space there for quite a lot of stuff. Definitely fits my phone. But you know, th this this just screams nostalgia to me. Absolutely screams it. It, it. it doesn't get better than that, really, does it? It's huge. Absolutely massive. I love this, I love this. This is really good when we're going out as a family and I've got to carry like all of Riley's stuff. And I don't wanna carry around like the Thomas the Tank Engine bag or the Avengers bag. It doesn't go with my aesthetic. <laughs> so I want a cool bag. So I'll put it in something like this and be like, come on, <laughs> let's go. I don't care that I'm having to bring out a bag that's twice as big as the one I actually need to carry. I still need to look cool, cause you know priorities. Now the last two bags aren't particularly novelty bags. They're just really, really cute. And you know, they have a place on the bag wall because they are bags that I can quite easily reach for on like a more everyday kind of basis. One of them is this. This one I got on eBay and it just really goes with pretty much anything in my wardrobe because it just ticks every box really. You've got the purple, you've got the pink, you've got the mint, you've got the yellow. It doesn't have blue though, I just realized that it hasn't got any blue in it. But still, this is a really, really practical bag for me. So not novelty, nah, but still super kawaii and um yeah it's just really it goes very well with my kind of like fairy k kind of vibe so yeah it kind of it kind of snuck in there <laughs> it actually really matches my hair by the way do you like it it's my first time wearing this wig i love it <laughs> last but not least this one i got at hyper japan from dreamy bows i love and adore this bag it's this one. Again, not necessarily novelty because you know, it's not like a particular shape or whatever, but I just love the detail in this. I love the scalloped edges. I love the golden bow. I love that it's got cool baby. Um, this is the bag charm that I've made ages ago. Um, and, and I just really, really like it. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's actually one of my best performing videos on my channel. <laughs> because it's, it's such an old video. Um, and I love this kind of like quilted look here. I love the details of the um, gold hearts here on the end of the zips. It's a very, very, very practical and very comfortable bag. I do use this bag quite a lot. Again, when we're going out together as a family or if I'm just taking Riley out and I don't wanna have an Avengers bag <laughs> to carry, I pop it in here can fit both our drinks in anything that I need to change in all the rest of it all just goes in here and I can still look cute <sighs> so there we have it I've finally <laughs> gone through <laughs> all of my novelty slash absolute favorite bags that I have there are many more bags that I own but they're of maybe the more sort of tote variety um you know or like they're just not they're just not like these ones, you know what I mean? They're not novelty enough um, for this particular video. But um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. It's just something a little bit different. Normally I'm always doing like, you know, crafting videos or showing you how to style something. This is a video that's kind of letting you know a little bit more about my personality um, and just kind of like letting you into my world a little bit more. So if you'd like to see more videos just like this, then of course, let me know in the comment section down below. I do want to do a cup collection video and I know that my girl JB Cons Creations has been pestering me to do this video because <laughs> you want to see how many Pasheen cups that I have but uh, yeah I do like to collect odd cups 
and um, yeah, cups and bottles and stuff like that. Like I, I, I am a bit of a fan and I'm a bit of a collector of that too. So if you want to see that, do let me know in the comment section below. Let me know as well what your favourite bag was, if you can pick one. Um, if not, maybe, you know, your top three. You might have to watch this a few times. Feel free. <laughs> Most importantly though, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't done so already, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon. Mwah. Bye.